Hello, welcome to TechChirmit. In this session, we will learn about one more built-in function that is percentage years. So let's go through the program. So here we are writing program in fully free format, and uh, we have we have set the control option as no debug I/O and SRC STMT for debugging purpose. Now on line number twelve, here I have declared two variables. Uh, both are of type date, uh, named as current date and result. Okay. Now on line number seventeen, we are using percentage date built-in function to get the current date. So that current date is stored in this current date variable and after this line i'm displaying uh, this string as a output and after that we are just displaying the current date okay variable so as you remember in previous two sessions we are discussing about the uh, two built in function percentage days and percentage month and in today's session we are discussing about percentage year so almost they all are equal or same just uh, difference is that like uh, in one case we are converting the number into number of uh, days and in second time we are converting number of uh, numeric value into number of uh, month and this time we are converting numeric value into number of years okay so these are mainly for the duration for adding or subtracting the duration so these three built in function are almost same okay so here what we are doing the uh, like syntax is quite simple here also like uh, we are using percentage year built in function and inside the parenthesis you can write the numeric value which you want to convert into the duration now on line number 29 we are using percentage year to add the five year in this current date so what it will do it will retrieve the uh, date uh, five year later date from the current date okay so whatever the date is uh, today it will find out the five year later day here okay and then we are displaying it similarly i am using this built uh, line number 35 i am using this built in function to subtract the one year from the current date so whatever the current date is it will subtract one from that and then we are displaying it on line number 37 okay and in last uh, at last we are just setting star inlr equals to star on so let's compile and check the program output so yeah firstly i'm displaying this line because just to identify the output so after hitting enter it returns the current date so this is the current date now what percentage years will do it will add five year to this year okay so this is the year part 2022 20 then this is month and this is date so we are using percentage year so it will add five duration to this part so let's hit enter and check so yes we are getting correct so it adds uh, 5 to 22 and we got the 27 now in next logic line what we are doing we are subtracting the one year from this date so what it will return it will return 2021 so let's check hit enter so yes we are getting correct output so this is what we are doing in the logic so if you check logic again so firstly we are displaying the current date on line number 21 then we are adding the duration five year to the current date and we are displaying it on line number 31 and similarly we are using percentage days uh, percentage year built-in function to subtract the one year from the current date and then we are displaying it on line number 37 so that's how we can use this percentage year built-in function percentage years built-in function to perform some operation on the date so now we have discussed uh, all three duration built-in function that is percent date days and year days month and year okay so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech